Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be sharing with you some bags in my collection that I am thinking of selling. And if you have not already watched it, check out my entire luxury bag collection video. I just posted it and I went through every single bag in my entire collection, every single brand, all my luxury bags. And because I did that video, I was able to finally go through in several sittings and assess every single item in my collection. And I have come to a realization and that is that I would like to downsize my collection and get rid of some bags that I'm really not using, probably don't plan to use in the foreseeable future. And I just want to trim my collection down to a manageable size so I can really enjoy what I own. So in this video, I'm going to show you what I'm thinking of getting rid of. And I'm going to start with the bag that I actually showed in the video for the very first time. I just got it. It's my most recent addition to my collection and it's one that I'm not really thinking of selling but actually just returning and that is this League of Legends bum bag. Now I got this from 24S which is an LVMH owned website and I was able to get this for 10% off and since then there was a recent gigantic LV price increase so the bum bag is actually priced a lot more and it's not even apparently going to be available anymore. They are going to be discontinuing this, I think. And so even more so, part of me just wants to go ahead and probably keep it because I was considering purchasing this already. And when it arrived, I immediately was like, oh my gosh, these white parts are too big. They take up a lot of surface area. And from my experience with similar crossbody type bags, I would wear this not as a fanny pack around my waist, but as a crossbody, you know, like on my shoulder here and then around my waist. These parts like right here and right here, they would get a lot of wear. And also here, this part is silver, but you know, anywhere where it's on the, the corner, it would just get a lot of wear and tear and get bumped and jostled and kind of scratched up because I would use this as an everyday errand running bag. I really wouldn't want to baby this if I do keep this. So I was like, you know, I'm not sure. I'm just not sure. So that's probably my largest, I guess, kind of conflict with the bag is these big areas that will potentially get really scuffed and battered during use. But other than that, I really like the style. I like that it has a top handle so I can take it on and off easily. It has a hook or D-ring down here that I guess you could hook something on. I like the zipper pull, which is really different. I'm not a League of Legends fan at all, so I don't, <laughs> I don't follow the game. I don't know what the significance is of this tiger slash marks that are blue and silver and white, whatever. But I mean, I kind of like the coloring. I like the style. I also really like that it has a back large pocket back here for your phone and then it's got a large zip pocket and the zippers run pretty smoothly. It has adjustable straps and over time I think it would look really nice once this is darkened but I just am not sure. I wasn't immediately like oh my gosh I love it but I do like the style. I think I like it. I don't know. So <laughs> I just can't tell. So I don't know. What do you guys think? Does anyone own the bum bag? And also if you're a League of Legends fan like what is this whole design. I, I don't know what it is, but in general, do you like this style? Let me know what your thoughts are. So I was just thinking of returning it, but I think with the price increase, I'm reconsidering whether I should just go ahead and keep it. And I think I would definitely use this. So I don't know. I'm just thinking about it. So this is on my short list of whether or not I'm going to return it. And the next up is this LV Chelsea Damier tote bag. I am considering selling this because I literally have not used this since I got the LV on the go GM tote bag. And I haven't even used that since I started working from home remotely. So how long has it been? I mean, three years maybe <laughs> since I stopped using this completely. It's a great work tote bag. Some women use this as a diaper bag. I don't really need a diaper bag anymore, but also I, I don't really like when diaper bags are really structured. And for me, I really need a diaper bag to have water bottle pockets. So I never really use this as a diaper bag, but as a work tote bag, this was great. But again, I just don't really need this anymore. Like I don't need a work tote bag. So as much as I love the style, I love how open and wide this is and spacious. It's got these really wide zippers, but I just don't use it. And I really am trying to downsize my collection and especially my tote bags 
within my collection because I have a bunch of tote bags and I don't need all these totes, especially if I already have my like go-to tote bags that I use. And it definitely is not the LV Chelsea. Whenever I need a tote bag for travel or if I am doing some kind of an outing with my kids and I need to carry a bunch of stuff, I usually grab one of my DeVille totes over there or now my new Hermes grooming bag, you know, and then I also I have my Dior book totes. <laughs> so I just really don't need this. As much as I love this, I don't need it. And I can't have a bunch of bags in my collection that I just love, but have absolutely no use for and that I don't love enough just to admire. You know, like there are some bags, for example, my Chanel Sunset on the Sea and my Chanel Coco Handle. I love those bags. <laughs> I love those bags. I love how they look. They are just very aesthetically pleasing and I do use them occasionally. I don't use them all the time, but I definitely appreciate the few times that I bring them out. So this is a workhorse bag and it's meant to be used and I'd rather sell it to someone who will love it and treasure it and use it than for it to sit completely unused on my shelf. I am probably going to sell this at some point in the future. And another bag I am considering selling is my LV Nano Speedy. This bag was so hard to find. I was finally able to grab it from one of my LV boutiques. I was able to do a charge send. And I even have the Samorga organizer inside here to make it a, a little more functional for me. But at the end of the day, this bag barely, barely fits my phone. But I talked about this in my bag collection video. I have the iPhone 12 Pro Max, I think. And even without the case, which I would never want to just have to remove the case, it's so hard to get in here and zip close. And it feels like I'm stretching the zipper and about to break it. So I just don't use this bag. I don't, and I know that this is something that I could sell easily because there are a lot of people who are looking for this. If it were a little bigger, it would have been perfect because I love the crossbody. Crossbody bags are probably my most used bags. So I definitely would have gotten a ton of use out of it if it fit my phone, <laughs> but it doesn't really, not easily. So unfortunately, I think I will have to soon part with this. And I don't even remember the price of this, but again, the LV prices have just gone up so much. So I know that I could probably sell this quickly because nobody wants to pay the new prices. And also this bag in general is just hard to find. Oh, and look, it's a made in France bag. Ooh. And then the only bag on this list that is not from LV is my Chanel surf tote bag. As you can see, I have gotten a ton of use out of this. The leather, that is usually very structured and stiff and rigid and holds its shape when it's new. It has almost completely lost its shape and it doesn't look very nice just standing on its own. I have it on a purse holder hook because it just kind of collapses in on itself if it doesn't have anything inside it. This has served its purpose for many years. I talked about how I use this when I was working. It was a great work bag. I brought this to court every day and it carried my laptop and files and just tons of everything inside that I needed. It has this snap removable pocket divider that I just would leave out and then I just carried everything inside. It has a zip pocket here, a zip pocket here, and then two slip pockets on the, both sides and then right here and then the Chanel clasp to close this up and then this here. There's a shoulder strap inside that also connects to both hooks on the handle on this side and then on this side hidden underneath the rolled handle and because i used the shoulder strap for so long and this bag was so weighted down you can see exactly how the leather just has started pulling right where the leather handles are attached and i just don't use this anymore it's very much professional working woman vibes I wouldn't use this as like a diaper bag. I mean, I've used this as a carry-on bag, but for work trips, I don't know. I just really don't see myself using it. And I'm thinking I should just go ahead and get rid of it before it completely collapses in on itself. And last but not least on this list of bags that I am thinking of selling is the LV by the pool on the go GM in the blue. I think it's called blue mist. Oh my gosh. I mean, am I crazy? <laughs> This is such a beautiful, beautiful bag. I absolutely love this bag. I love the ombre. I love this entire collection. I have the romper also that LV came out with uh, last summer. And I love the gradient blue 
on both sides. There's the bottom. And then inside you have the light lining. There's a dust bag. And it's got a little pocket. Then it has shoulder straps if you don't want to use the rolled handles. And then because this is a limited edition version, it has this little charm of a flower and little leaf. So I love this bag. I love the look of it. The LV on the go tote bag in the GM reverse monogram was my most used tote bag ever since I got it. And so I'm very familiar with the style. I love the style, I love the handles, I love the multiple carrying options. And so when this came out, I was like, oh my gosh, I was so smitten with it. <laughs> Again, I just love the coloring, I, lo I love blue. But you guys, I literally have not used this bag. Like I never carried it outside of the house. I brought it with me on a trip we went to the lake house last summer. I don't know. I had all these ideas of uh, taking pictures with it. it. Just never left my luggage. I had this packed within a larger suitcase in its dust bag and I was gonna do, you know, great pics for my Instagram and I just didn't do it. I was on a family vacation and I just was enjoying my time with my kids and I was just like, whatever. I ended up never opening anything in the suitcase. None of my like influencer, you know, items that I was gonna take pictures of for, <laughs> for my Instagram. I just was enjoying being on vacation with my family. And so then I was like, you know, maybe I, maybe I should just get rid of this because I really don't use it, but I don't know. You guys, I'm not sure. I'm still thinking about it. There are different closet purging philosophies with getting rid of stuff in your wardrobe and in your closet. And a lot of people are like, oh, well, if you haven't used something in years, then you're probably never gonna use it. You know, get rid of everything you haven't used in a year or more. But I subscribe to the Marie Kondo mentality, and that is only keep what sparks joy. And for me, this, definitely sparks joy like i love this this sparks so, so much joy and happiness but then the practical side of me is like well but i don't use it i feel like it's meant for a summer road trip or a summer beach getaway vacation but i don't really like the on the go style for a travel like plain flight bag a carry-on bag so i'm just like okay well what would i use this for like where would i go with this so that's why part of me is like, uh, yeah, this sparks joy, but it doesn't spark joy for me if something is just sitting on the shelf. So I really need to just use it or lose it. Okay, so I am not gonna sell this right away. <laughs> I'm not gonna list it or anything, but I really need to make a conscious effort to incorporate this into my daily you know, rotation or weekly or monthly rotation in the summer. Part of me is maybe scared because then I'm like, oh, well, you know, if I don't want to keep it, I don't want to use it because then I'll get more money if it's, you know, pretty much new. But I don't like that mentality because I do love the bag and I love the way it looks and it sparks joy, but I haven't used it and I need to use it or lose it. <laughs> so yeah, so long story short, that is just my thinking when I'm considering what to sell, what to keep, what to use, what to get rid of in my gigantic luxury bag collection. So let me know what are your thoughts? What are the factors that you consider when you are thinking about whether you should sell or keep a bag? Sometimes I'm confused and what I don't want to happen is to regret something because I have done that. I have sold bags, then later, years later, I'm like, well, I should have kept that and then I end up purchasing it. <laughs> which actually I might do a video about that, but yeah. So those are the bags on my shopping block. Let me know what you think of the bags I'm thinking of getting rid of and let me know how you decide what to do with your collection. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed my bag collection video and I will catch you in my next one. Bye.